In this short video, we're going to talk about the difference between independent and dependent variables. And these can vary from person to person and study from study. We have three different examples here. So I'm going to circle in red the independent variable. So, and then in blue, the uh, dependent variable. So the, a researcher studies the effects of a new drug on cancer. The independent variable would be the new drug, right? Um, what kind of new drug they're going to give them or if they're going to give them a placebo, so no drug at all. The dependent variable would be um, effects on cancer, right? So did the person get better? Did they live um, so many days longer than the people who did not get this new drug? Okay, next one. So a psychologist, uh, let's see here, psychologist studies the impact of withholding affection on rats. So the independent variable would be the amount of affection, right? Are they giving a lot of affection or, or not a lot of affection? So this is um, independent. So the dependent um, would be the impact, right? So what is the impact? Is it a, um, if they're giving a lot of affection and they have, I don't know, they're faster, they can memorize things quicker, or longer, whatever it is. Or if they're not given a lot of affection with this independent variable of affection, then um, what's the impact, what's the negative impact of that? Um, solidarity, uh, sulking around in their, in their cage, what is the impact of that? Okay, so with the third one, a scientist says how many days people can eat soup before getting sick. So the independent variable is just this number of days um, that people can eat soup, right? So or how, many, um, how many days are you eating soup? A week, two weeks, two months, right? And then this independent or the dependent variable is if they get sick or not. Right, so um, independent variables is really well. It's up to the researcher. What are you going to manipulate? The dependent variable. Well, that more depends on the people being studied. Right, so um, you can change these around. You can personalize these to your own individual um, research expertise. Right, so you can have the independent variable be anything: new drugs, new um, psychotherapies, new um, machinery, whatever it is. The dependent variable is how um, the participants in the research study react to that independent variable. So um, a clever way to remember it is, well, what's the dependent variable? Well, it depends on how the people react. And then independent variable is I, the researcher, gets to choose. 